Hi everyone! Some time ago I made a long video in Russian, explaining in details my understanding and decoding the meaning of Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. It makes no sense to retell every little thing in English, as most of it should be more or less obvious to English-speaking people. So I'm going to be very brief on most of it, but we'll go in details on my version of decoding the hard phrase Galileo Figaro Magnifico and the whole operatic accent. So let's begin. First, Bohemian means belonging to youth art subculture, not Czech Republic and not people of Roman nationality. Second, Rhapsody means prolonged classical piece with several distinctive moods. Third, the composition belongs to the album named A Night at the Opera, and the only operatic part is the pinnacle of Bohemian Rhapsody. Fourth, there can be seen several hints to operas in the composition about the famous character named Figaro, about La Boheme culture, and about Faust. Fifth, the story in general is about a young man from Bohemian musical subculture, still intoxicated, slowly reflecting on how he just shot somebody. Clearly, he is not planning on giving himself to authorities. Instead, he is contemplating suicide. In the operatic part, we can hear several voices discussing him and talking to him. My guess is, these are light and dark spirits, taking interest in his soul and fate. The dark spirits do so with contempt, referring to the musician as Scaramouche, which is Italianized word for clown, and to his final spiritual convulsions as the Fandango, which was a usual dance in the times of Mozart and Puccini. Then it starts. Galileo Figaro Magnifico. I've heard a version that it was a distorted Latin phrase Galileo Figuro Magnifico meaning, say hail to the figure of the Galilean, where Galilean meant Christ. That is, the light spirits give advice to the man on how to behave in this situation, how he can save himself in the Christian sense. While I agree with the message, I propose a different decoding. First, as we can see in the Latin Bible, Vulgate, Galilean is written differently. With so many references to opera and Italianizations, it makes sense to switch to the Italian Bible. And yes, there Christ is called Galileo. Second, Figaro is written in small letters. Thus, it's a household name for something related to the opera protagonist. And here it's likely to be a distinctive Italian type of gold chain commonly used for pectoral crosses. Third, Magnifico in Italian means exclamation excellent. So the phrase Galileo Figaro Magnifico means something like Look, you're a Christian and you've got a cross on your neck. Excellent. So you know what you should do. The phrase is directed to both the man and the other light spirits. But the man doesn't get the message and says something like Somebody please just get me out of here. Then two choruses start to argue for his fate. One is telling Let him go and the other telling No, we won't. Then, the man senses his personal demon coming straight from Satan's deputy, Beelzebub. As the man fails to ask God for help, the demon takes him over completely and seals his fate. The rock-style part is a direct speech from the man's consciousness taken over by the demon. Being taken over, the man seals his doom by shooting himself, and the gong sound means the shot. Thus, his soul is doomed forever, and that's his end. If you have your own thoughts on the matter, welcome to the comment section. Thanks. Bye.